Solubility and recrystallization are two fundamental concepts in organic chemistry that play a crucial role in the purification and the characterization of organic compounds. Solubility refers to the ability of a substance to dissolve in a solvent and it is a critical factor in determining the suitability of a solvent for recrystallization. Recrystallization, on the other hand, is a technique used to purify organic compounds by dissolving them in a solvent and then allowing them to crystallize out of solution. This process is essential for obtaining high-purity compounds which is critical in many areas of research and industry. Understanding the solubility properties of organic compounds is essential for selecting the appropriate solvent and conditions for recrystallization. For example, the aspirin molecule, which is an organic compound made up of a benzene ring, a carboxyl group, and an ester, has both polar and nonpolar components. Thus, the affinity of water, which is very polar and inorganic, for this compound is not as great as the affinity of water for itself, that is water in water, which has equivalent polarity being all inorganic in nature. Thus, aspirin is more soluble in ethanol than in water. In this experiment, you will be provided with an unknown substance M. In separate test tubes, you are to test for the solubility of the substance M in different available solvent provided in cold or hot conditions and record if soluble as positive or insoluble as negative in a tabular form. You are also expected to purify some tablets of aspirin using ethanol as solvent through the process of recrystallization. Weigh the given aspirin tablets, record the value as the theoretical yield, and carry out the outline procedures in your laboratory manual to obtain the actual yield and hence calculate the percentage yield as actual yield divided by theoretical yield multiplied by 100.